This is problem number 10 from the June 2015 Algebra Regents exam. This question is fairly straightforward. To find the zeros of this function, all we need to do is factor it. We have x squared minus 13x minus 30. So in order to factor this, we're looking for uh, two numbers that multiply to get negative uh, 30 and add to get us our b value, which is negative uh, 13. And so we should be able to figure out that those numbers are um, 15 and 2, but um, one of them would be negative. It would be negative 15 and positive 2. Because multiplied, that gives us negative 30. Then added gives us negative 13. So that means one will be x minus 15, and the other factored will be um, plus x plus 2. And so that means to find the zeros, we set both of these equal to zero. Because all of these are equal to zero. I forgot to do that. And that means x is going to equal 15, and x is going to equal negative 2. And that looks like that's option number four. And that's all for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regents Preparation.